welcome back and to conclude my little series on traveling with your little ones and maintaining the best sleep possible this episode is all about the return home so stick around i'm gonna give you a bit of a recap and a tally up of the things you need to know about that return after you've traveled with your little ones okay so let's delve in these tips are going to help you to get your little one's sleep back on track and get them sleeping really nicely at home when you've returned from travel or being away or on a holiday or something like that. Okay, so number one, the journey home itself. So when you're coming home, a bit like the journey out, you have this kind of random day. It's a transitional day. It's going to be a day where you may find you or your child might get more sleep than usual you might get less sleep than usual it doesn't matter it's a transition it's when you get back that really makes a difference in getting back um, into your routine so when you come back try if possible it's not always possible but try if you can to factor in a recovery day that's the day after the travel day. So you've got your travel day and then a recovery day if you can, if your timetable allows. And that's gonna give you the opportunity to just play with timing, see like, okay, wake, whatever time we start the day is fine. Wake up when your body clock's ready. And then, okay, where are we now? What time is it? Right, based on this wake up time, we need to have or not have naps. Um, okay, based on what happens there, we need to, do what we need to do in order for bedtime to happen at that time, which is your time at home. So having that recovery day, it's like, um, it's like having a buffer zone to really sort it all back out. Okay, the second thing is um, home routine right away. Be, get into a home routine right away. So once you've, once you've got back and you've done that, you're, you're gonna be starting to think, right, it's breakfast time at this time. This is our dinner time. This is when bedtime is. Just get back into that routine and rhythm. And um, particularly when it comes to your bedtime routine for little ones and the environment that they, they're in. So if they are in their own room, if they've been, if they spent a week sleeping in a room with a sibling, but normally at home they're on their own, it's hard and fast rules, back to normal. That's where you sleep, your bed, your room. Um, if they are usually in their own cot, but they've been sleeping in um, a bed or a different sleep setting or in with parents on a holiday, back to normal, back to their own sleep space. Whatever the rules are at home, they need to come back right away. And then the third thing to remind you of is that jet lag, if you have changed time zones and or especially big ones, jet lag can last a week it can take a week to really get back to normal but you're going to encourage that along and you're going to help that along faster by getting into your local time and your routine based on the time zone you're back in and by getting into those cues the environments the you know the meal times all those things that um, make up the home routine uh, catch-ups as well if you are or your little one is tired um more than usual have little catch-ups it's okay don't think you've got to keep your little one awake to maintain the perfect bedtime if they're tired just because perhaps they don't usually nap or they've had their usual amount of naps if there's additional tiredness there a little catch-up sleep really won't hurt and then still go ahead with your normal bedtime so you can get that back onto the the normal path okay that's the return home um Next time I'm going to be talking all about crying and this is going to be a really interesting little uh, series. We're going to be talking about the meaning of crying, um, the effect that it has on little ones and on you as parents um, and the facts and the misconceptions, everything. So stick around, that's all coming your way very, very soon. In the meantime, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.